Once we've got our survey set up, we want to go ahead and send this out to people. So what we can do is we can click on send survey and you can see there you've got a variety of options. So you've got the ability just to send an email either from somebody that's in your address book in Outlook. Um, you can do uh, an individual email address, just type it out or you can import a file and send it that way. You've also got embed, link and QR code, but what we're going to look at right now is creating a Microsoft flow. Now, one of the benefits of being able to do this is it allows you to then send out these emails based on some kind of trigger. So in this case, a case being closed in Dynamics 365 customer engagement. So once the case is closed, we want there to be a trigger that says, OK, send it to the contact that's on that case. OK, so first thing that you'd want to do is if you haven't already created one, you want to be able to customize uh, an email template. So you can take the default one, you can do save as, give it a new name and then work from that new template and then customize it. I've got one already and that's my support ticket resolution email template and you can see here we've got a little bit of information and then a button to start the survey. I'm going to delete the first name just so you can see how you add that in. If I do hi and then come up here to personalize, we're going to put in the first name and you can see immediately it just adds that tag in there. So what that will then do is we can then pipe the first name into the flow so that then it will say hi Megan or hi Victoria, whoever that might be. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and save that. Now, the other thing that you can do is if we just go back to the um, survey for a moment, we can also put that same t uh, piped information in here on the survey itself or in any of the questions. So instead of please let us know and there'd be no personalization, we can click here and do first name and then I'll just change that to lowercase. So again, we'll see that person's name and then saying please let us know about your interactions. So we'll go back to send survey, we'll go back to configure flow, we'll change that to our support ticket resolution and then we click on configure flow at the bottom. Now the um, common data service, that is a premium connector. So at the minute it's in preview so we can use it, that's no problem. Um, we can test with it, but that is premium, so you'll need to check licensing to make sure that you've got the, the correct license to be able to use this. Now, we can see that there are five templates that are already set up for us. If I go ahead and click on the send a survey when a case is resolved, it will then show what connections this is going to be using. So we can see there that it's going to be using the common data service, um, and then it's also going to be using Microsoft Forms Pro. So we'll go ahead and we can make sure that we've picked the right environment and then we can go ahead and click on create flow. Now what this is going to do is this is going to create a flow for us behind the scenes and we can see here congratulations it's been configured successfully. Now I can go on to create a new flow but if I actually want to get back to um, the the survey that's just been created if I go back to the home area of send survey, we'll see here that one flow has been configured. So if I click on that, there we can see what the flow is, what the message template is that's been used, how many times it's been run and what the status is. If I click on the little pencil icon to edit it, it's going to take me to that flow within Microsoft Flow. So we can see here if I go into edit it, let's see what it's actually doing. So it's saying when a record is updated and that record is a case entity and the scope is organization, check to see if the case is resolved. So check the status reason value is equal to five. If no, don't do anything. If yes, check if the customer is an account. If it's an account, then what we're going to be doing is getting the account information based on it being the customer and then we'll go ahead and pull information for the survey. If no, then it must be a contact. So we're going to get the contact based on that customer identifier on the case. And then we're going to basically have it to where it's saying the two will be the email field on the contact. 
The survey and the email template are based on what we've started from within Forms Pro. And then if we look at the advanced information, or we basically um, open that to see all the, the potential fields we can fill out, we'll see that the regarding is the incident or the case. And then the case is the case ID from the initial step at the top here when the record is updated. We've then got the recipient details is the contact and that's using that contact ID from the previous step where we've got that, that um, contact based on the customer. And then what we're able to do is pull in the first name and the last name. Now I don't need last name so I'm going to remove that because I'm not using that in my email template and I'm not using that in the case itself. Sorry, in the, um, in the survey itself. So all I'm doing is I'm using the first name what we do from there is if I just type in first name, we'll see that we've got get record to, which is this step right here, and that's the first name that we're pulling. So if you've never used Flow before, in theory, you wouldn't have to do anything with this. Um, but obviously, you can come in and make changes to it if needed. Now, if I go back here, I can actually configure more flows, um, but Ideally, you're, you're really going to be wanting to have just one email sent out when the case is closed. But if I wanted to configure a flow, just so that you can see, we pick the template, but actually I can also create from blank. So create from blank if you do know flow or if you want to do something slightly different, you can come in and actually just go ahead and pick the connector. Um, pick your, your action so when a record is updated, again, you can do the same thing, but just create it step by step yourself, essentially using the Flow Builder directly within Microsoft Forms. So you don't have to go out to, to Flow, uh, you can do it all from within here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close a case. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now. We'll come back in just a moment. So here we can see we've got our email that's come through. And we can see in the email, we've got the first name, hi Victoria, and we can go ahead and click on start survey. That will take us to the customer support survey that we need to fill out. And we can see, Victoria, please let us know about your recent interaction with the support team. So we can see that the email has been customized and we can see that the survey has been customized just using the first name alone. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you can see how you can trigger and use a flow to send out an email once a case has been closed in your Dynamics 365 customer engagement environment. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.